Hey there guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about why you shouldn't get Limbo if you're a newer player. Now, I'm not saying you can't get or use Limbo because this is all up to you and I can't just tell you what you need to do. I'm just here to give you reasons why you shouldn't get Limbo if you're a newer player. Now the first reason why you shouldn't get Limbo is because Limbo is considered one of the most confusing Warframes to play with and for newer players Limbo is going to be very hard, it's going to be a very hard Warframe to play with and also master. As most of his abilities are very hard to use and you will be you will need extensive knowledge of how enemies work, how to traverse the map and how characters abilities work, how they interact with other um other characters and how characters interact with you. You will also need to know how to use his abilities and they are pretty hard to understand and you will need to know when to use them as they are, as that is a very important part of limbo because if you use them if you use your abilities at the wrong time and you get your teammates into like you know the rift or something or you get enemies in the rift at the wrong time you're going to piss off a lot of people. And that is a good segue into my other point. If you're a newer player and you can't do any of the things I listed before, a lot of people are going to hate you and are going to just leave your team probably a lot of the time. Because I've had moments when I've been in, you know, um, defense missions, I've been trying to level up Limbo's level to try and get him a higher, a higher level. And people have seen that I'm a Limbo, that I'm not like level 30 with them, and I'm like mastering 10, and then they just instantly leave. And it's it happens a lot of the time. So if if you if you want to you know um use limbo, expect people to leave a lot. So if you do get limbo, I highly recommend that when you are learning how to use his abilities to put um solo magic on and to uh, confidence to, at playing limbo and you know how to how to use his abilities. You know how to you know uh, limbo etiquettes. You know um. You know how, like you know, like basically, you know everything about Limbo, and you, because again, if you don't know everything about Limbo, people are going to hate you no matter what. You have to know everything. Once you know everything, people are going to stop playing with you. Anything less than knowing everything, you people are going to hate you. And it is hard to play as Limbo confidently and also know everything about him because to to basically do this, you need to have a lot of you need to have basically have all of Limbo's builds, you need, that's that's a requirement, and like, to make these builds, it is, you literally need high level mods, that n many, many newer players won't have access to, or if they do have access to some of these mods, that won't be near enough, you need all these mods to actually make these builds to actually make Limbo viable. And to make it worse, to get you to a stage where you know everything about Limbo, and you aren't annoying your teammates as Limbo, you will need to have one of these builds which you can't make because you don't have any of the mods to make them. So until you get more confident with the game and once you get a pretty hefty number of mods at your disposal, I would try to stay away from Limbo. But if you still want to get Limbo, that's all fine. I'm not here to, to say that you can't get Limbo. I'm just here to warn you that people are going to hate you if you do play Limbo and you're a new player and you don't know how to use them. And if you are planning to get Limbo, I'll put a link in the description to a video that teaches you how to use Limbo and the Limbo etiquette.